Oh yeah, like yeah. If, oh, if yeah, I can get yeah. it once, then I did. But uh, yeah, it's just so hard to pull off. Just, oh, uh, we might be hot now. We might be hot now. Oh. Oh, we are. <laughs> so you're alive? We're live. <laughs> All right. We're live. All, All right. right. How's it going, everyone? Bacon How's it omelet. going, everyone? And Bacon this omelet. is. And this is. The Amazing Spider-Man vs. Kingpin, Spider Kingpin on Sega CD. Oh, Echo. That's, Ooh, on, Echo. Me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. Okay, that should be fixed. Echo should be gone. Uh, yeah. So I learned this game uh, a week ago. <laughs> It was a quick learn. It was a fun learn. But uh, yeah, I picked it up because um, there was a fun little glitch that we discovered on the Genesis version of this game where you can skip a level if you die and pick up health on the same frame. Which is pretty cool. I mean, Cyphern's here in chat also. Go ahead and say hi. Hello, hello. Cyphern runs the Genesis version and uh, he has to do that hard frame perfect thing. The Sega CD game, your dead body can pick up health at any time. So there's no frame perfect. <laughs> but without further ado, let's just jump right into it. For the sake of time, we're just going to skip the scenes. I do recommend playing this game, though. Some of those animations are hilarious. Oh, they're fantastic. <laughs> but nostalgia is powerful for me. I, I, I grew oh, yeah. up with this. So, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> So I actually did figure out a setup for the first two levels to always be the same. Oh, another thing to mention about this game. These little uh, map markers here. See this one's red and the rest are green. The game is basically a randomizer. Um, you have to find the level the boss is in. On this difficulty, it'll tell you where the boss is. But on the next higher difficulty, it won't tell you where the boss is. So you have to play through like each level until you find them. But for this difficulty, we know that Electro is going to be right here. But yeah, it's a uh, pretty fun speedrunning the harder difficulty just because of that. Because it really is just like speedrunning a randomizer because you don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's fun, but it's also kind of frustrating. <laughs> yeah, that was part of the uh, sort of initial turnoff for me for this game. I, I love it casually. Again, the cutscenes. You got if you if you haven't seen them, you got to see them. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it was because of nightmare uh, interested me. But then yeah, just not knowing you know where you'll end up. You know, you don't know what you'll get. And just like, eh, do you feel like grinding that out? But uh, no, it's still it's still a great game. And yeah, with uh, bacon implementing the the skips here, it makes it a lot the run a lot more interesting. Yeah. So that was a skip right there. He shot me, and I touched the health right after. <laughs> and there's the cutscene showing beating Electro, but didn't even see him. <laughs> so unfortunately, that's the only spot I have routed in for this game right now. Because in this game, for some reason, taking damage is really slow. <laughs> you have a lot of health. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've been running this for less than a week I would say now so I didn't play it for a couple days but it's been a fun little grind so far but it's to the point where I really need uh, certain levels to PB so there's certain stages especially later on like the last three areas have really really long levels or really short level <laughs> so it's RNG just off that if the run's going to be successful Got the vulture coming up here. Oh, and I missed the setup. Let's get him back on that side. Oh, messed it up. Oh, Birdman, what are you doing? <laughs> Birds are jerks. Birds are jerks. All right, so when we do this Vulture level, it forces us to this Mysterio pinball bonus game, and uh, we don't want to do it. We Ooh, that was really good. <laughs> oh, I should have been streaming a Discord for you, Cypher. I'm sorry. 
Oh no, no worries, no worries. Uh, let's see if I can quickly get that up. Just so you can see what's going on here. Huh. Alright. I am Smooth, smooth. Didn't didn't <laughs> didn't slow down the run at all. Okay, I'm not running with the timer or anything. Uh shoot, what level was this one? It's this one, okay. This is the level I prefer here. There's two fast mysterious levels. Also rip bitrate right, right here. I imagine it looks really bad on the uh, stream. <laughs> it's got this funky little dithering transparency crazy Mysterio effect over top of everything. We gotta, we get to we gotta use... go through that one more time as he makes his way to Mysterio. Yeah, we get to use a little shield power up there. He's got some different little skills in that pause menu, but I only use the shield. There's like a different web shot thing, but... Yeah, it's the web, web bolo. It's like a stronger web, uh, you hit it, uh, hit an enemy with it, they should get webbed up more quickly than normal. Like, you hit them with a normal stream of web, the web yeah. will make it faster. I have been tinkering around with the idea of doing that level skip thing in this area, but the spot that I do it in is right at the end anyways, it's right at this boss, so it's almost not even worth it. Because he's pretty quick too. Yeah. But if I'm super low on life, I could probably set it up. But that's something for somebody else to figure out. Because I don't want to grind this game too much. Because there's only like two people on the board. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get we get the we get the scene showing up for this, and then maybe focus on those little optimizations. But for now, this has just been a fun little game for me to pick up recently. And that's Mysterio. Yep, so you heard that, folks. Right right here and now. Looking for more amazing Spider-Man versus Kingpin Sega CD runners. And mm -hmm. Genesis runners, too. Yeah, the Genesis one's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's very similar, but a heck of a lot shorter. Mm. Which you guys will see right after this, because Siphon's playing that. Yep, yep. I mean, the music's so good in this one, though. Oh, yeah, the best. <laughs> Bad doggy. Oh, okay, we're gonna go this way. Sure, Spider Man. Yeah, Doc Ock, you can actually do first. You get the choice of Doc Ock or Electra right at the start. But because I have that little glitch set up for skipping Electro, I prefer to just try and get that out of the way. And then I'll just do Doc later. Oh. <laughs> Flipping on the elevator. <laughs> Doc Ock's a little annoying. Just gotta time the skipping rope arms. Oh, jeez. There we go. Then after Doc Ock, we go see Lizard Man. Off to the sewers. Which level do we get? That's the one I like. The sewers are pretty cool, but then at the same time, they're like this this crazy maze of tubes that you have. To yeah, go. the one level like it's pretty long. Mm -hmm. So there's there's two levels that are decent. Like I believe this one's probably the fastest. So, I mean, I'm already almost there. Nice. Damn. Yeah, and that's off to the boss. Peeking through the grates. Yeah, think. Venom <laughs> creep in there. Yeah, so this is on normal difficulty, but the nightmare difficulty, Venom will actually 
be in the stages trying to get to you too. So he's chasing you while you're trying to play levels. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. It's a neat little difficulty change thing. I mean, it's not that bad in the speed run because you're just cruising through. All right, lizard. It's lizard and a bunch of bats that I ran past in the level. They're the real boss. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, we good. We good. Just kick him around a couple times. No problem. That's good it, time. right? That's it for Lizard Man, right? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not a part two. Oh, no, no, none of that. Nah, not at all. Not at all. Oh, jeez, what? That hit went right through him. If he's off to the side there, he just doesn't have a way to hit him. It's really weird. <laughs> he's just invincible if he's by that right side. Mm. Alright, let's, let's go to the park. Let's go play in the sandbox. <laughs> Sandman's uh, another RNG thing. The way you have to take him out. Sometimes he doesn't cooperate with you. It can be I, super annoying if you're on a good pace. Yeah, it likes, to, it likes to move all over the place. Luckily, that's not too bad on the Genesis version because you can do a skip. Mm -hmm. it, that one's just really hard. That one I've never been able to do. We'll, see if, we get, we'll see if we get it tonight. I doubt it, though. <laughs> That'll be the one you get. Watch. <laughs> Alright, we gotta wake up Sandman from his little little box we go all the way back recall at the start of the level there's a little red fire hydrant there turn him into mud man that was pretty very good nice. that was yeah that was very good <laughs> yeah sometimes sandman will troll you and he'll just stay on the left side of that fire hydrant it's really annoying but yeah that was good Hobgoblin, he's got four different levels that he can be on. One is really good, and three are really bad. Uh, he's down here, right? This is the worst one. This is the longest level. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. It's pretty straightforward. And by straightforward, I mean you go straight to the right. <laughs> yeah, so as nice as the Sega CD version is with the different changes from the Genesis version, some of these levels are pretty lackluster. Yeah, it's, it's a bunch of filler. Um, one thing that they did um, for this version, though, I guess there was like a uh, a competition or a contest that you can collect various comic book covers. Yeah. So, like throughout the, the various filler stages here you can find a number of comic book covers from like spider-man's history Just some really some number ones and some special issues you know like the first venom issue it's, it's all kinds of comic book covers you can get yeah they're pretty cool looking mm -hmm. i mean if there was a scene for this game we could have a all comic books category you know yeah yeah <laughs> that could definitely be a thing mm -hmm. There. Let's see if we can get this set up. I have our hob here. Two jump kicks. And we lock them in this position right here. Hobgoblin likes to move up and down, but I found that this little setup keeps them locked on that one height. So otherwise, whew, chasing him's not fun. Yeah, that was very nice. Yeah, I'm really happy about that little setup I've figured out because mm -hmm. man oh man that's a rough one without it uh where am i going going north to venom hey this is the fastest venom this is the one you want on a good good pace run yeah you can see why this would be 
a nightmare on a uh, nightmare difficulty to speed run not knowing where uh, the bosses are mm. plus you want to get them on the fast levels when you do find them so it's kind of a fun little run to play around with oh where am i going yeah, and now we have venom which uh interesting thing about venom is uh, you can fight him but his health will not drain like, it, he just constantly regenerates and as you can see <laughs> he's just dropping from the sky now <laughs> he, he, he he makes sure to stay on spider-man um, Some, sometimes he's sitting right on that little exit thing too it's so annoying <laughs> man there's a there's a trick to venom just like sandman there's a trick Just gotta ring, ring both those bells at the same time. The old symbiote suit don't like that noise. And then we're off to the last level already. Take on the kingpin. Big man himself. All right, so this isn't the fast level. I've only seen the fast venom and fast kingpin levels line up once. Hmm. <laughs> And I have yet to see the fast Hobgoblin and the uh, fast Venom and Kingpin all together. Those last three levels seem to be the biggest uh, determining factors. Oh, we want up. Oh, no, we want up. No, bats. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's just oh, get that guy to chill out. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> My yeah, goodness, yeah, what is yeah. going Oh no, this is actually where I want to go. Never mind, yeah, never mind, never mind. Yeah, but actually, that's some of the, the worst enemies. Oh, you found the bonus yeah, level. Yeah, I find that that section there, it's faster to just go through the bonus level. Hmm. I was thinking I was on a different level there. That's my bad. <laughs> Bumping around for no reason. All right, now we're going to deal with all the enemies at once here. Starting with Vulture Mysterio. Just get a couple hits up here, and then I'll go down and risk it. Why not? Ooh, brave. Why not? Because, yeah, these two can, uh, if, if you lose control of Vulture or, or let Mysterio get his projectiles out, they can be a... Uh, yeah, those projectiles are... Real nasty. Oh, oh, he's dead already. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that Electro we skipped earlier. Alright, then we got that random order of keys. We're good. Yep, Give Venom a couple kicks. <laughs> and once you defuse it, the, the bosses are like, yep, oh, time to go home. We... Don't need to uh -huh. be here anymore. Yeah, if I die at this point, it's just a game over. Oh, yeah, yeah. After defusing the bomb, uh, instant game over. There's no no more continues. When you uh, die while the bomb is still active, you lose like two hours off the 24-hour clock, which if we didn't say, oh, well, actually, I'll be quiet since an hour. Oh, that's all good. Uh, basically, Kingpin framed Spider-Man um, and said that he planted a bomb that was going to blow up in 24 hours. Bam. Uh, and That's so, it. Yep. He took him down. Nice and quick. I'll let this one play out just so the people can see these. Mary Jane is unconscious. Amazing. Okay. Once the cops dispose of Kingpin, I'll get so good. It's There's so good. The real criminal <laughs> officers. You'll find his bomb in the other room. Disarmed with the keys I took from his henchmen. We are a lot to thank you for, Spider Man. And a lot to be ashamed of. To think we believed you were the bad guy. Mistakes happen, guys. The important thing is, we're all on the same team. This is all very touching, but you're wasting these officers' time, Spider Man. Voices are My the best. Will have me out <laughs> Justice is never a waste of time. Another reason to play this one, there's three endings that you can get. Hi, Tiger. Is I there? You'd show up in yep. Time. Well, huh. I didn't want to be late for dinner. So this is the best ending. 
Didn't guess, know that. Guess you could try guess the other two. The After second one years, she gets Spider dipped in, right? Yep. Where he belongs. You know, maybe you shouldn't have been. And then is it just when you die at uh, Bullseye? We don't yeah, just when you die. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> anybody after the bomb. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Kingpin dips you both. He can't free. He's pulled them again. As a child, it was pretty traumatizing. Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. That's Spider Man versus Kingpin for the Sega CD, everyone. That was good. That was pretty smooth, actually. Not gonna lie. Got some lucky levels there. Lucky levels. But uh, if you're uh, ready to go, Cypherin, take over. Show off that Genesis version. Be in